Welcome back to Ask Rip. If this is the first time you've ever seen Ask Rip, where have you been? Hundreds of millions of people watch this podcast every time it goes up. Even more than that, try to participate in it by sending us questions. When we ask for them on the web, we ask for them on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh, where else do we ask for this? The website? U.S. Mail. U.S. Mail. People mail them in. Uh, when we ask for it, we get hundreds of millions, if not billions, of responses to our, our call for questions every time. So when you see Ask Rip go up on the web, get your questions in. You ought to have them ready before you see that so that you don't have to waste precious seconds sending them in. Because, you know, after four or five seconds after these go up, we've already got so many we can't really, you know, use them all. We just, we can only use a few of them at one time. So uh, have, these, have these ready in advance. Be thinking about them. Think about questions for Ask Rip all the time. When you think of a question, write it down. Jot it down right then. Get the email ready to go. So all you have to do is hit send when the notice goes up on the Internet for questions for Ask Rip. And that way you're assured of being able to participate in this phenomenal Internet uh, craze. That's, that's the word I was looking for, craze, all right? I was thinking more toured. <laughs> toured. Tour de force, internet tour de force. So here's how it will go. You'll send them in. We will print them out on little pieces of paper. Without having seen these, I will pick up the piece of paper and say, Michael Montfort from Facebook asks, if you had to choose one, which would it be? Folgers, Bud Light, Jim Beam or Sumo? What's well, a tough one, Mike? Uh, I think uh, uh, probably uh, Wendy's. All right. All right. Sarah Louise asks: Are there any plans to bring starting strength to the UK? Well, Sarah Louise, it just depends on what you mean by bring starting strength to the UK. You can buy the book in the UK. We ship to the UK all the time. Uh, who's our distributor over there? Uh, Pullum, Sense, Pullum, Pullum Sports. Pullum, P-U-L-L-U-M. We've been selling through those guys in the UK for a long, long time. You can get all of our stuff over there through them. Uh, we ship directly to the UK. Uh, Amazon.co.uk uh, sells our products. Amazon.com ships to the UK. The books are already in the UK. If you mean when are we going to bring the seminars to the UK, uh, and, and we get this question all the time about uh, bringing a starting strength seminar to a uh, to foreign locations, and the problem with this is we don't have enough coaches. Uh, in the UK or really anywhere else right now so that we can rely on local help when we get there. The seminar is, uh, a, a, it's, it's labor intensive. We have uh, five platforms for a 25 count seminar. We have five platforms. The coaching ratio is five to one and that's all it will ever be. Sometimes we go to 30 in a big enough gym. But we have six coaches so that the coaching ratio remains five to one. And then we have an extra person uh, that functions as a supervisor for all the platforms. So if we were to come to UK for a 25-person uh, seminar, we'd have to bring six people. Uh, as you're aware, transatlantic travel is hideously expensive. We're not made of money. We'd have to come in on Thursday. We'd have to charge way too much for it. You wouldn't be able to afford it. And uh, to make that work, we would have to probably do one location on one weekend, stay the week, do another location the following weekend. That would require that all six people, 
be off work for about 10 days, and it just, it's just not something we can get done at the present time. It shows just logistical limitations prevent us from doing that. So, Sean, uh, Sarah Louise, it looks like you're going to have to get on an airplane and come see us. And you would not be the only one in the room because every seminar we have three or four people from out of the country that attend. So we know it can be done. You need to do it. All right? Now, This one is hard to pronounce. Jonga Dornell, something like that. All right, you know who you are. You sent this in from Instagram. You ask, as one gets older, resting blood pressure usually rises because of arterial stiffness, stiffness that comes with aging. What is the highest systolic and diastolic number? Would you allow a lifter to train? in a given day. It's an awkward sentence, but I understand what, you, what you're asking us. Uh, we uh, don't measure blood pressure every day somebody comes in the gym, you know. Uh, you know if you have high blood pressure. If your blood pressure is 180 over 130, we probably don't want you to train that day. But most people don't walk around 180 over 130. If you're mildly hypertensive, 150 over 100, you can go ahead and train. Exercise lowers blood pressure. Uh, if you're, certainly if you have a training history, you're already adapted to transient acute uh, hypertension that occurs under a bar. Uh, just not a factor. But like you show up and blood's running out of your eyes, we're probably going to say, hey, there's blood running out of your eyes. You're not about to have a stroke, are you? And if you lie to us and say, no, blood normally runs out of my eyes, man, I'm ready to train. And uh, you get under the bar and you have a stroke, we're just going to call your next of kin. Okay? Now, Lucas Plutz. Luke Aspids. Asplod, I don't know. At least, why is it such fashionable? So fashionable on Instagram, I have these bizarre handles. They can't be pronounced. Well, anyway, will the progressive overload on deadlifts and chin-ups be enough regarding arm biceps development, or it it would be advisable to perform some biceps curls sometimes? <laughs> yeah, you can do some curls. Okay. Sure. Do some curls. Just do them after you get through your training. Okay. Uh, M. DeBean from Instagram also asks, Rip, is there a weight limit that a person with osteoporosis can lift? It has been scientifically determined that a person with osteoporosis can lift 98.73 pounds. And that's all. Science. It's a scientific fact. Now, PBC 93, ask Rip, to wear or not to wear a belt on bench? It's like a question. I wear a belt when I bench. I think most big benchers like to wear a belt. It keeps you a little tighter under the bar. Uh, I advise it. I think it'll help you. I think you'll uh, maintain a tighter torso under the bar if you're wearing a belt when you bench. So I'd recommend that, certainly. In fact, you can, you'll can you find very soon after trying this, you can get uh, one hole past uh, where you wear it when you squat and deadlift if you're on the bench. So yeah, wear a belt when you bench. It's fine with me. Batonius Rex. I'm not making that up. That's what the men's... Batonius Rex says, what makes Deadwood... Such a damn good TV show. Well, Rex, you know, that's an excellent question. It's the writing. It's obviously the writing. Uh, the casting was perfect as well. Uh, Ian McShane uh, uh, playing Al Swearingen was just a stroke of genius. Uh, those of you that haven't watched Deadwood, man, get caught up. You're out of the conversation. 
until you until you watch all three seasons of Deadwood. Uh, it's the writing. The writing is at such a high level that it's it's just a fascinating show. I've probably watched all five, all three seasons of the thing, four or five times. Uh, it's, it's the best thing that's ever been on television. There's no doubt. And uh, I don't want to hear all this Breaking Bad shit. I'm I'm, I'm not interested in Breaking Bad. I want, uh, Deadwood is where you need to be. <clears throat> in fact, uh, you the other day sent me a uh, um, a link. They're actually shooting the movie. Is that right? They're shooting it, or is it in pre-production, or what was the? Oh, it'll take them a while to shoot that. They got all of the original cast back together, and they're shooting a movie. And uh, it's yeah, set ten years later. Pierce Brosnan died, of course, so they've got that character's probably been removed. But everybody else was available, and they paid them good, and they. Uh, I, I think it'll be a big hit movie once it comes out because enough people have watched the show since then to to be a big audience for it. And uh, uh, if you want to be a part of this internet tour de force, then you need to uh, get caught up on the three seasons of the show, and uh, that way you can play when it comes time. Okay? Uh, how, how long? We got front one more? 13 minutes. 13 minutes. 12 minutes. Well, this would be a good last one. Hunter S. Chompson says, he asks, why am I so lonely? <clears throat> because you're an asshole, Hunter. Thanks for watching.